All right, guys, welcome to uh, Blue Line Garage. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to fix um, plastic um, parts on a car. Now, if you have like small little cracks like this, now this piece here will probably cost a, hun a couple hundred bucks because it's actually a whole support that goes straight across. Um, here, this is a main screw mount right here, but this is broken. So I actually went ahead and I drilled two holes, one on the lower, one on the upper. And I'm going to show you how, how to repair this. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to drill holes straight across um, on the lower part and then on the bottom part. And then we're going to connect these two with wire. Now I have this uh, roll of wire here that I use. Um, it's very thin, very strong. I like this a lot. Um, but some of you might not have it. So what I recommend is getting like a small gauge um, electrical wire. Um, something really short and then you could pull out the ground from it. Um, this is from electrical wire too and as you can see it's not that different, it's just a little bit bigger. Um, once you do that, pull the wire through, uh, we're going to knot it up and then once we get it really tight and solid, we're going to go ahead and use some JB Weld here. Um, <coughs> one's the hardener, the other one is, is the weld itself. Um, this is probably the best I've seen on the market. now. Um, I, I tried different brands, but this brand is probably the best. You just need to make sure you put enough hardener in there, um, and it makes it one piece and solid. So I'm going to go ahead and knock this out and kind of show you the results. You guys get an idea, and you guys can fix your own piece of plastic parts. We're gonna, I'm going to fix this part here. I'm going to fix this part here. Uh, I'm not too sure about this part here because I can't separate it so much. So I might clean it up and see um, uh, if it's actually broken all the way through or not. Uh, I checked everything else and I don't see anything else broken on here. So stay tuned and uh, watch what we're going to do with this. Alright guys, so we went ahead and I did one line here so far. Um, I wanted it to look really professional so what I did was I made a twist behind the plastic um, instead of out front. Um, I tied it really tight, I lined it all up and as you can see it's a clean seam. I'm trying to focus on there a little bit but I'm going to go ahead and finish this off and show you the end result. Um, with the metal ties here. Alright guys, so this is what I've done so far. Um, as you can see, it's nice and solid in there. Um, I'm going to put that JB weld and I'm going to cover all this stuff up. I'm actually going to take care of these things and I'll show you guys what it looks like afterwards. But uh, first thing is first is you make sure that this lines up. I usually trim the corner of the plastics with a razor blade just to clean it up. Um, drill your holes and then run the metal wire through, tighten them up as tight as you can, make sure it's snug in there, then use the JB weld and go over it, and then allow about 24 hours for the JB weld to take place. And I'm going to show you guys that next, so stay tuned. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you what I've done so far. So I've done this, I've done this, what you saw earlier. And I've also done these here. Um, now you're probably asking yourself, well, why did I put more? Um, the reason for it is because there's actually some plastic piece underneath and it's hard to get the wire across. Um, that's about it, but this is this is good as it is. That JB Weld stuff is gonna come out great. We're gonna put this on here in a second and I'm gonna show you how it looks afterwards. All right, so first we're gonna use the JB Weld stuff right here. And put a good amount on there because we do have a big area. That's pretty good for now. Put that back on. Now, this is the hardener, um, just like if you're doing fiberglass work, things like that. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you want to do a good amount of hardener. I'd notice if you use too little, um, it doesn't basically harden up as fast. It takes a longer time and it's a little weaker. So, we're going to go ahead and mix this up. So what I like to use is a glove. Um, I wear a glove and I apply it with the glove so I could actually get my fingers in there and uh, push this uh, weld all the way around. Where if you're just using a plastic putty, um, you might not get into all the cracks and crevices. Alright, I think this looks pretty good. Everything looks mixed up pretty good. So let's go ahead and get this started. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. I really can't get the camera um, on there to uh, show the application. 
but uh, I'm gonna show you basically the after the aftermath on this. All right, stay tuned. All right, we're pretty much done. As you can see, it's on there pretty smooth. Um, you, the biggest thing is that you want to make sure is that you want to get underneath um, as well. Just don't put it just on top, but you want to go underneath because um, the JB Weld will actually make it through those little holes I drilled and the wire and connect it and make a better grasp. But what it does is it also connects the metal wires that I put underneath and combines them as one. And this is going to be really solid. Uh, another good thing about this is that you can actually sand this stuff down um, if you like and make it a lot cleaner and you could also paint it if you want. We're not going to paint this. I might sand it down just a little bit. Um, but other than that, this is, this is how you fix a plastic piece. You could save yourself so much money um, if you have a broken tab. Lots of times uh, headlights will have a broken tab and you could fix it the same way just like this, just the way I showed you. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you hate it, thumbs down. It doesn't matter to me, but just leave me a comment. Let me know if something I could have done differently or something that you guys recommend. Um, also, subscribe. Um, I'm also going to be doing small little uh, how-to videos as well as I'm doing this build. Um, I am rebuilding a Fiat Spider. Um, I do have a, a part one video out right now. Um, a part two is going to be coming out soon once I get parts delivered. So go ahead and stay tuned, guys, and check you guys later. All right, Blue Line Garage, this is how we do.